for this mysterious phenomenon, mainly in the United States and the United Kingdom. The last all-out war by all-out war system or retaliatory measures have been taking retaliatory measures all-out war of humankind using the latest bioscience technology or system or retaliatory measures have been taking retaliatory measures all-out war of humankind using the latest bioscience technology has begun and the answer is this
has pledged to improve the situation within a month. Michio Ishida, this report. Prime Minister Yoshida Suga finally called for a state of emergency for four prefectures after daily cases started to show a steep spike the end of December. <laughs> He declared what actions he wants restricted. The key is to prevent people from eating and drinking out, which experts say are the main cause of the coronavirus spreading. It's especially the young people in their 20s and 30s who, without showing any symptoms, are spreading COVID-19 at home. And they're seen as the cause of infecting the elderly who are the most vulnerable. But this means restaurants and bars will be hurt. 
So Mr. Suga pledged to provide subsidy to those that comply up to 1.8 million yen or about 17,460. The federal government did this effort today. I am officially declaring a national emergency. Central Health Officer Dr. Bonnie Henry and Minister of Health Adrian Dix have been working tirelessly to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Henry has given us important instructions on how we can flatten the curve. La proroga è dunque una scelta emergency in the province of British Columbia. This is something that, as you know, we've had as a tool in our toolkit for some time. And we felt that I felt that today was the, the tool, this is the tool that we need now. We've taken a number of unprecedented measures in the last few days, and this declaration of an emergency enables me to be faster, more streamlined, and nimble in the things that we need to do. He declared what actions he wants restricted. The key is to prevent people from eating and drinking out, which experts say are the main cause of the coronavirus spreading. It's especially the young people in their 20s and 30s who, without showing any symptoms, are spreading COVID-19 at home. And they're seen as the cause of infecting the elderly who are the most vulnerable. But this means restaurants and bars will be hurt. So Mr. Suga pledged to provide subsidy to those that comply up to 1.8 million yen or about $17,460 a month. And if business operators do not comply, he cannot force them to close by 8 p.m. as there's no law to justify that. So he wants to legislate a special law to take punitive action against those For this who mysterious do not phenomenon, mainly in the United States and the United Kingdom, the last all-out war by all-out war system or retaliatory measures have been taking retaliatory measures all-out war of humankind using the latest bioscience technology has begun. And the answer is this. Some breaking news from the Korean Peninsula this morning. Simmering tensions have boiled over. This is brand new video new military surveillance video into us and it shows Kim Jong-un's regime blowing up a joint border liaison office which is inside North Korea. Cabinet Public Relations Office, Postwar Reconstruction, Japan's High Economic Growth. No one knows the truth about what is happening now. But something unconscious, but intentional. In other words, human beings are vaccinated against infectious diseases of unknown cause, source of infection, and route of infection. In particular, Japan is in a state of incoherence. It doesn't make sense. Talking about all didn't make sense at all. Status of so false confidence. And mess in both thinking and behavior patterns. This is it. Return to coronavirus now, and Japan's Prime Minister is considering declaring a state of emergency in Tokyo following a rise in COVID-19 infections. Japan reported 
4,500 new cases on December 31st, more than half of them in the capital. More from Rob McBride now. He says Japan's Prime Minister is coming under increasing pressure over his response so far stayed away from the harsh restrictions imposed It comes as we have seen this seasonal spike of more than 4,500 new cases in one day being declared just before New Year. Now around half of those cases, worryingly, have been around the Tokyo metropolitan area with leaders around Tokyo, including the governor of Tokyo really asking for the a state of emergency to be declared to give them extra powers to try to con- uh, control and contain the epidemiological distribution of COVID-19, new coronavirus, infectious diseases, shows that now the coronavirus has disappeared spontaneously. This is because the number of cold patients increases in winter and tends on the contrary to occur to decrease in spring. Simply put, for mysterious infectious diseases such as occurring the onset of acute pneumonia and autoimmune diseases, the new coronavirus, or SARS coronavirus 2, SARS CoV 2, is completely irrelevant. It is a mystery. What and how is causing the infectious disease? You are so sad You are so That is not matter, or has nothing to do with, and what's that got to do with it? Not relevant and unrelated matter. It is irrelevant. The cats are from different regions of New York State, and in one of the sites, while the cat had the virus, the humans living there did not. Well, I think that there's possibly an increased risk if they were an indoor outdoor cats, so they were exposed to the outside environment. In Tiger Mountain, and three African lions have also tested positive for COVID-19. This virus is very contagious. Whether We just don't know the extent of which animals can contract it and what the effect is. Zoo officials say all of the cats are eating and doing well, they are behaving normally, and their coughing is greatly reduced. Everything is incomprehensible, incoherent, and uncoordinated. Incoherent, 
or inconsistent and illogical. Also, it doesn't make sense what you are talking about because everyone don't know. Talking about didn't make sense at all. No certain regularity is found. Be aware of the coronavirus entering through food chains through frozen food. Francesca Amaker is at her home in Fulton County with the details. Now, Francesca, we've been hearing that this is coming from different countries. Currently witnessing a major epidemic caused by the 2019 novel coronavirus, the evolution of 2019 and COV remains elusive. Found four insertions in the spike lycoprotein which are unique to the 2019 and COV and are not present in other coronaviruses. Importantly, amino acid residues in all the four inserts have identity or similarity to those in the HIV-1 GP120 or HIV-1 GAG. Interestingly, despite the inserts being discontinuous on the primary amino acid sequence, 3D modeling of the 2019 NCOV suggests that they converge to constitute the receptor binding site. The finding of four unique inserts in the 2019 NCOV, all of which have identity similarity to amino acid residues in key structural proteins of HIV-1 is unlikely to be fortuitous in nature. Hundreds of mutations in the new coronavirus have been revealed by research teams in the United States and the United Kingdom. Receptors have also been found in the testes that serve as gateways for the new coronavirus to invade lung cells. Elucidation of the mechanism by which the new coronavirus infection becomes more severe is progressing. The virus interfered with the production of messenger substances that are essential for immunity to work. It may also be a clue to the risk of aggravation of the mutant. Elucidation of the mechanism by which the new coronavirus infection becomes more severe is progressing. The virus interfered with the production of messenger substances that are essential for immunity to work. It may also be a clue to the risk of aggravation of the mutant. The epidemiological distribution of COVID-19. New coronavirus infectious diseases shows that now the coronavirus has disappeared spontaneously this is because the number of cold patients increases in winter and tends on the contrary to occur to decrease in spring simply put for mysterious infectious diseases such as occurring the onset of acute pneumonia and autoimmune diseases the new coronavirus or SARS coronavirus 2, SARS CoV 2, is completely irrelevant. It is a mystery. What and how is causing the infectious disease? The Prime Minister of Japan announced to the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, and Canada at the Group of Seven G7 Advanced Seven Country Summit that the Tokyo Olympics will be held as a proof of overcoming corona for some reason. I haven't told China and Russia, South Korea or North Korea. I do not know the reason. The situation in China and Russia is uncertain, and contact has been lost. North Korea's thought and behavior patterns are unclear, and the reasons for them are all unknown. The statistical distribution of infectious diseases is incoherent and uncoordinated. I can't find any regularity at SMS. As long as human beings are alive, it will continue in an infinite loop in the future for eternity. It feels like something intentional infection. In conclusion, it feels like something intentional. Infectious factors that cause structural mutations at the cellular level have occurred. The source of infection is unknown, and neither the root of infection, nor intermediate organisms are known. The pathogen is also other words, there is no cure or cure. Moreover, because of saliva infection, it becomes a world where men and women cannot freely have sex with an unspecified number of women, which is fatal both economically and mentally. Everything is incomprehensible, incoherent and uncoordinated. Incoherent or inconsistent and illogical. Also, it doesn't make sense what you are talking about because everyone don't know. Talking about didn't make sense at all. No certain regularity is found. B.
before the outbreak of this infection. Japan was not an industrial nation, but a tourist destination for Chinese peoples. Rather, it is more like a Chinese colony. Moreover, under the control of the U.S. military, currently, Japan bashing and have no technology or resources. Japan issued a national state of emergency on January 7th, 2021. Declaration of emergency, emergency or state of emergency. Japan government declares coronavirus emergency over in Japan. Also, Japan naturally purchased the vaccine developed by U.S. Operation Warp Speed, not China. But suddenly, the infection disappeared rapidly before the vaccine arrived. Even so, such a phenomenon is occurring at the same time all over the world. In other words. Neither PCR test nor coronavirus vaccinations are involved in this situation. In other words, it has nothing to do with it. That is not matter, or has nothing to do with, and what's that got to do with it? Not relevant and unrelated matter. It is irrelevant. Now!
take a picture on my phone So I will never be alone So don't forget to say cheese On the count of three When I take a selfie When I take a selfie I snap a moment in time I post it up online For all the world to see And everyone can agree No need for scenery Photogenic you and me In my selfie When I take a selfie Selfie When I take a selfie Look at you, look at me Happy as we could be I'll take a picture on my phone So I will never be alone But don't forget to say she Is on the count of three Yeah, and I take a selfie
to have been fought for decades and now the entire sector will have to shut down. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to the shutdown of many businesses globally. Sectors like tourism, hospitality and aviation have seen unprecedented losses. And the recent victim of the pandemic is the milk breeding sector of Denmark. When a variant of COVID-19 was found across all mink farms in Denmark, authorities ordered the color of the entire mink population. As fears rose that the mutated strain may weaken the effect of a potential vaccine against COVID-19. And now a political crisis looms in Denmark. The government admitted that the plan lacked any legal basis. And so, hundreds of Danish mink breeders are out on the streets with their tractors to protest against the sudden closure of the thriving industry. some circumstances. Things imported from Brazil were discovered with the virus and that was yesterday. That came a day after it was found on the packaging of shrimp imported from Ecuador. Now, though the surface sample showed the virus, health authorities trace tested people and the results came back negative. Now, the World Health Organization says there's no evidence at all the virus can spread through food, but also reminding people, you specifically, to properly prepare frozen food to avoid other foodborne illnesses. And here's While Japan's current Shinzo Abe administration continues to take a right-wing nationalistic stance over various historical and territorial issues, former Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono says Tokyo should inherit the content Kono, during a meeting with Korea's ambassador to Japan on Tuesday, stressed his statement was and is authoritative, adding he still firmly believes in the attitude and judgment the of the administration. Chief Secretary reportedly expressed regret over the strained relations between Korea and Japan and said he would do his part in trying to mend the country's ties. Doctor at New York's Presbyterian Hospital took her own life. In a statement to NBC News, her father said, like the many heroes that are still there, she was in every way in the trenches of this war, fighting the effects of this COVID virus that she contracted herself. Dr. Breen survived the virus, but it was the grueling work. Supposedly him to go to the ER. He gets blood work done and his platelet levels are low. And this is something called thrombocytopenia. Platelets are one of the components of blood clotting. If platelets are too low, it makes people more prone to bleeding. Normal platelet counts range from anywhere from 150,000 to 400,000 or so. People can have spontaneous bleeding, including internal bleeding, but that doesn't typically happen unless the platelet levels are less than 10,000. His levels were reportedly zero, and because they're so low or absent, really, he gets admitted to the intensive care unit. For two weeks, doctors tried to get his platelet count higher, as he had experts from all over the country involved in his care. Now, an article was published in the Washington Post stating that neurologists at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York had stumbled upon a small cohort of COVID-19 patients that were suffering from strokes. These patients were otherwise healthy, and most of them were young, being in their 30s, 40s, or 50s. And these individuals who were suffering from strokes were suffering from a type of stroke called a large vessel. In a story the News 4 I team was first to report, a five-year-old boy in New York City has died from a rare inflammatory syndrome that's likely linked to COVID-19. Governor Cuomo now says the state is investigating other deaths. The I team's Melissa Russo broke the story last week and joins us now with the latest. Melissa, tell us what else you're finding out. Stefan, everybody is really learning about this as we go. When we first reported back on April 28th that New York City hospitals were starting to see children presenting with severe inflammatory disease and even heart failure, of course, we all hoped it wouldn't come to this. But this syndrome impacting children has now proven fatal. Alarming for sure, but pediatricians insist most children are recovering. It was scary. It was scary. I, I didn't think I was going to make it out the same, if at all. 
14-year-old Jack McMorrow feels lucky to be alive after 10 days in the hospital with a mysterious illness now believed to be caused by COVID-19. It started with a fever and a rash. It was painful. It was, it was scary. And I, I like I, I just pray that it doesn't happen to anyone else. But it is happening. Governor Andrew Cuomo of at least 73 children hospitalized with what they're calling multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Tragically, at least one child has died. This is every parent's nightmare, right? That your child may actually be affected by this virus. But it's something we have to consider seriously now. Mount Sinai Kravis Children's Hospital confirms the child who died yesterday was a five-year-old boy in their care. The governor says... Parish reporter Melissa Russo broke this story. She joins us from the newsroom. Melissa, with an update on all of this. Natalie, the number of new coronavirus cases overall may be going down, but the number of children known to be developing a dangerous response to COVID-19 appears to be going up. In pediatric intensive care units throughout the area, a rising number of very sick children, challenging our initial hope that for the most part, our kids were not at risk. Well, children aren't affected. Oh, really? That's another fact that they're going to change on us. New York State now confirming the number of children diagnosed with life-threatening COVID-related inflammatory illness is up to at least 93 with as many as five children in New York State dying as a result. We want to keep reminding parents and family members to look out for these symptoms and act quickly. It's another medical mystery. Why are more children going to hospital with symptoms similar to a rare inflammatory syndrome, Kawasaki? New York's health department is alerting physicians to look for possible links to COVID and parents to be watchful for symptoms. Fever, rash, severe abdominal pain, vomiting or diarrhea. We want parents to pay attention to when they see these symptoms to reach out to their doctors early. New York hospitals have identified at least 15 cases, others in Philadelphia and Boston. 12-year-old Juliet Daly had severe stomach pain in hospital. They diagnosed COVID. She suffered cardiac arrest, but like nearly all these patients, she fully recovered. Thank God in this situation, we haven't had any children who have died from the number of children that have been identified with Kawasaki or Kawasaki-like illness. So far, kids have seemed more protected from coronavirus, but in Italy, France and the UK, early concerns from severe inflammation in children. I think it is entirely plausible that this is caused by this virus, at least in some cases. In Montreal, doctors at St. Justine Hospital admitted 15 to 20 kids with Kawasaki-like symptoms whom they suspect had COVID earlier. Maybe we are making some noise for nothing, or maybe we are just at the beginning of something bigger. We really don't know, but we have to be ready. Working with the university... Okay. Now, does, let's see the other hand. <coughs> Okay, and then as far as any any like swollen lip nodes on her at all? Um, not really swollen lip nodes. The rash also goes. Let's see this rash. Um, and from her neck all the way down um, to her growing area and across her stomach, um, the right. rash like her hands is also on her feet. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of a fine. Um, the back is worse than this time. Popular tire crashes. It's not really elevated. Okay, let's maybe let me see our other foot too. Hey, sweetie. All right, and let's let's take a look at her back then. Really appreciate you letting us. for how much more I could express. Hello everybody. I know we're always best to get on Facebook to talk about the things that we're doing in life. Partying, getting drunk, not taking life for granted. As of Tuesday I have been admitted 
to the hospital for COVID. Never in my life did I ever think that I would be fighting for my bread. Something that we take for granted every day when we wake up. Please do not put your families at risk. I did the best that I thought I could. It is not worth it. Put your masks on. Don't go out if you don't have to. I have fought too hard to have the life that I have now. And I hard to unravel the cause and effect of the interaction between the SARS-CoV-2 virus and the immune system. COVID causes several symptoms that may point to a phenomenon called autoimmunity as a potential cause of long COVID. Now, this includes pulmonary fibrosis, meaning scarring of the lungs. Unfortunately, I'm seeing the same picture unfold in so many of my patients in the pulmonary clinic where they've had COVID-19 and now they have a lot of scarring in their lungs as a result of that. And COVID can cause other issues like brain changes. We've all heard about the brain fog. It can cause skin rashes, excessive blood clotting, inflamed blood vessels, and more. Autoimmunity is when the immune system mounts an attack on its own healthy cells and tissues, mistaking them for foreign or virally infected cells. Now, under normal conditions, the immune system can discriminate between self and foreigners meaning it can differentiate between the body's proteins and foreign antigens. But sometimes in some people, the immune system can mistakenly identify its own proteins as foreign antigens, and it launches its attack on itself. Now, when these autoantibodies react against self-antigens, the outcome can be inflammation and damage to tissues. This is what happens with autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes, Graves' disease, multiple sclerosis, and more. This is also what happens with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, where people get scarring in their lungs, much in the same way that happens with COVID. In fact, there are a lot of autoimmune conditions that can result in scarring in the lungs or pulmonary fibrosis. This includes things like lupus, scleroderma, polymyositis, rheumatoid arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. The vast majority of people who get COVID will have disease that is isolated to the upper respiratory tract. But in 20% of people who get the infection, it'll go deep into the lung parenchyma and have the potential to cause more severe disease, meaning COVID pneumonia, which sometimes blossoms into ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. The question of autoimmunity as a potential cause of more severe COVID disease, that was brought up when autopsies of people who died of COVID-19 revealed an inconsistency between the viral load and the degree of lung damage. This disconnect led to researchers to surmise that the immune system is more responsible than the virus for causing the extensive and often irreparable lung damage. A study that hasn't yet been peer-reviewed enrolled 147 hospitalized patients with COVID-19 in three medical centers. They measured autoantibodies that were associated with connective tissue diseases, for example, lupus. They also measured other antibodies like anti-cytokine antibodies, and antiviral. That rare inflammatory illness that could be linked to COVID-19 and affecting children. An eight-year-old boy from Queens is now recovering from that mystery illness that has struck at least 93 children in New York. As many as five deaths may be linked to the disease. New Jersey is reporting eight possible cases, but thankfully no deaths. Here's Iowa News reporter N.J. Burkett with a. We just hanging in here, hoping that he will, you know. Turn around quick. For Rup Hardwar and his family, it's another day of uncertainty. Their eight-year-old son, Jaden, remains in intensive care at Cohen Children's Medical Center, suffering from what doctors believe are serious complications of COVID-19. He's not able to walk on his own and he's not um, speaking much. Jaden suffered a flu-like illness and at some point during his recovery suddenly collapsed in cardiac arrest and tests later revealed that Jaden had antibodies for COVID-19.
、産業が軍事になってしまうっていう話、だとしたら、アメリカのように、軍事を中心に、この国の経済を回さなきゃいけなくなる、建国して239年、その 93% 戦争でつないできている、その使いっ走りとして、自衛隊は出せない。自衛隊員はこの国の宝だ、災害があったときにたくさんの人々を救ってくれ、そして、先週、防衛でも命をかけてくれると言っている山本委員、はい、山本委員、申し上げます、あの理事会協議で、えー、討論は常識の範囲となっております、えー、かなり時間が経過しておりますので、えー、討論。国会の2階にいますでこの3階で委員会室があるんですが、安倍総理大臣と中谷防衛大臣が委員会室に入る心を見届けてきました、お二人が入ったとほぼ同時にですね、公務員と委員長の信任同義が否決されましたで、その直後に安保関連法案の委員会採決が行われました。この採決の結果、与党の賛成多数で安保関連法案が可決されました。特に可決された瞬間、委員会は怒号と拍手が沸き起こっていました。委員長の席の近所は、鉄つかみ合いが始まるガラスの割れる音もしました。とにかく、混乱状態といった感じだったんですが、この後、野党側としては、安倍総理や中谷防衛大臣に複数の問責責任案を提出する予定です。で問責責任案の処理には1分当たり3時間程度かかりますから、参議院本会議での安保関連法案の採決の時間の目処というのはまだ立っておりません。安倍さん、自民党としては、委員会での安保法案の総理が採決に、有識者の方に受けました。の はい。
しいこの世の中はお客さんが楽しいこの世の中はThe military force it emphasized the operation with all-out war. After all, Japan proper was occupied by the US Army. There is an old Japanese saying that the fruitful news is to sleep. And wait. In fact, Japan is doing nothing. Rather, it is in a state of crazy yellow monkey or madness and Super crazy. All things come to those who wait. It meaning. Everything comes to you who wait and good things come to those who wait and also. Good things come to those who wait. The military force it emphasized the operation with all out war. After all. Japan proper was occupied by the US Army. There is an old Japanese saying that the fruitful news is to sleep and wait. In fact, Japan is doing nothing. Rather, it is in a state of crazy yellow monkey or madness and super crazy. All things come to those who wait. It meaning Everything comes to you who wait and good things come to those who wait and also. 
good things come to those who wait. The military force it emphasized the operation with all-out war. After all, Japan proper was occupied by the US Army. There is an old Japanese saying, that the fruitful news is to sleep and wait. In fact, Japan is doing nothing. Rather, it is in a state of crazy yellow monkey, or madness and super crazy. All things come to those who wait. It meaning, everything comes to you who wait and good things come to those who wait and also, Good things come to those who wait. The military force it emphasized the operation with all-out war. After all, Japan proper was occupied by the US Army. There is an old Japanese saying, that the fruitful news is to sleep and wait. In fact, Japan is doing nothing. Rather, it is in a state of crazy yellow monkey, or madness and super crazy. All things come to those who wait. It meaning, everything comes to you who wait and good things come to those who wait and also, good things come to those who wait. The military force it emphasized the operation with all-out war. After all, Japan proper was occupied by the US Army. There is an old Japanese saying, that the fruitful news is to sleep and wait. In fact, Japan is doing nothing. Rather, it is in a state of crazy yellow monkey, or madness and Super crazy. All things come to those who wait. It meaning, everything comes to you who wait and good things come to those who wait and also, good things come to those who wait. The military 